the only thing I could think of <laughs> to call y'all. I mean, I just got to like 225 subscribers or something. Love y'all the most. I don't know what to call y'all. What I what, like instantly came to my mind because I say it so much. I'd be like, what's up mommies and daddies? I just don't know so i might make that my intro like what's up mommies and daddies <laughs> how's your day been like and subscribe i guess i think i'm gonna make that my intro <laughs> this ain't our race but i still take your man i mean first place <laughs> let me just give you a little 360 <laughs> update on my skin you might not think that it looks good but it looks so much better than it did oh baby dear lord you know what i'm about to say it i don't care that you broke your elbow amen i'm gonna take these out by the way look at the colors <laughs> buy it on amazon i have nada i have nada to do that means nothing to do in case you aren't bilingual like Oh, I know you see me standing here. Do I look good, my dear? Do I look good today? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sorry, I haven't been looking at y'all. Sorry. I didn't know you wanted this eye contact. I got the Keen and JC merch. I got um, a hoodie and a shirt. And when they come in, fit me. Reppin. I just feel like I look really ugly, but nothing's new. <laughs> if you <laughs> if you use anything other than spray deodorant, this ain't a race, but I still take first place. Take your man just to shove it in your face. I kind of want to put a hoodie on. Like, I kind of want to do that. Ooh. Oh! Ew! Ew! So, I'm sorry, I'm going to get nude real quick. Okay. Oh my god, how are my boobs not showing? <laughs> I don't know why I'm acting like this. I'm just stupid bored. Stupid boy. Just stupid. Just stupid boy. This ain't I was just about to get Lorraine merch. I really want to get the girly hoodie, but it's $45. Got like, I got like six things, $60, which is really good. See, like, it's not that bad when you get kind of close. Like, I'll, I'll go online. This is my method. Feel free to take it because it's the smartest method. You go to your favorite websites. You can go to like Urban Outfitters or Tilly's because Tilly's one of, is one of my favorites. And you just look up sale and it will show all the items that are in sale. And you can just look through and be like, which one's cute? Which one will, will I actually wear? And you get that thing. I was checking on it for Urban 21 and it was like five more dollars and you get free shipping. I was like, let me cop. So I went and I was like, biker shorts, and there was $3.90 biker shorts. And you already know I got me a, a, a black pair and a gray pair. No, but the, the, the dresses I ordered, it was cute. Three dresses, a shirt, and then two biker shorts. You know what I want to talk about? My high school situation. Let's talk about my high school situation. She's cute. She's healed for the most part. I took out a stitch. There was like a plastic stitch. They were gonna take it out in a few days when I go to my appointment. I took it out. It like just flew out. Like I was like touching it and it just said, and I was like, my high school situation. Let's get to the team. I'm coachless. I have four coaches. One was about our basketball coach that was there that was like supposed to hype up the dugout. She gone. She moved somewhere. I don't really know. Is an assistant coach. And he retired. Love you, Bobo. He retired, and that was already sad. But I was like, why can't you wait one more year? My senior year, you know? But he's with his grandchildren, so I was like, that's so crazy. The last two, the head coach 
and the assistant coach, they said deuces. <laughs> and I was just like, so we have no coach, nada, nada. Softball has not that coach. <laughs> that is not the correct way to say that. But we have no coach. So coaches out there, hit up my school. If you're a boy, baby, hit it up. You know what I mean? Especially if you're a guy coach. And on top of that, I found out this other dude. <laughs> I found out another teacher that I thought was I was going to have as my teacher for senior year. He left. And I'm just like, then my other man, he is moving to a different apartment. He's still in my hometown, but he's moving to a different office or something. He, I don't know. And I, one, I lost all my favorite coaches that I love. And then two, all my, all the cute coaches, all the cute teachers are leaving. So basically I've been crying myself to sleep every night. No, I'm just kidding. But also, I was not at school the last two weeks. Why? Because I had surgery. And you know, I just found out literally like 30 minutes ago is that we have summer reading, which, duh. I don't know why I wouldn't have thought of that. But I didn't, and I just found out. And so many things have been going in the wrong direction. I just had surgery. I just was like infested with pimples after my surgery from all the stress and I guess my period, I don't know. That's another bad thing. My coaches leave, the cute guys leave. The only good thing about these last few weeks, I got an article written about me in Austin American Say Smith. And then I got um, a photo shoot obviously to go with that. And then I went to banquet for Austin Tech Preps and then I got Allstate for softball. So that's been good. And also I've been like doing a lot of workouts and not necessarily eating healthy, but I've been drinking a lot of water and I've been trying my very, very best to stay away from dairy, but it's really not happening. My confidence is coming up even though I have a lot of pimples on my face, but my mom made me a dermatologist appointment to get this fixed. So I don't care about my weight, but I do care about what I look like. And I've been looking I get distracted by some of these teachers looks which is not a it's not a bad thing like you can think people are attractive but like it probably is for the best that they left it's probably for the best that they left that the two men that I'm thinking about left I've really been looking stuck on my last year like maybe I'll really apply myself like maybe anyways I'm gonna say adios vatos Doesn't Bato mean cool guy or does it mean uncle? <laughs> adios, Vatos. Okay, adios, Vatos. Like and subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Comment down below what you want to be called. See you later.